got a whole lot of talent Say he grew up in the islands, know how to roll with his song Genius for Dylan, he doesn't stop till I feel it That's why I call him policeman, he come around and I run It's for Eric, you love when I share it Let's talk about Frankie, I love when he spank me You know what I'm on Cheers for Gerald, I'm at Hi you guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin and you know how to spell Coco. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and also subscribe to my subscription-based website called Coco Lifestyle Diaries. All the links could be found in the description below you can see i am starting this vlog later on in the day today is saturday i believe october 5th i'm not too sure but it's about seven nope 6 58 but seven o'clock and i am about to make an apple pie where well, i'm making two um because if it's good i will be taking one to my mom's tomorrow if you guys remember in the last vlog i went apple picking with my family my sister my uncles um and so i decided that i was going to use the apples and make an apple pie it's fall it is that time of the year we do fall activities so we went apple picking and honestly, I don't like apples that much. Like, I don't mind eating an apple. I love an apple. But I don't eat them as much where it's like I could eat all these apples. So I decided to just make an apple pie. Um, I am making two pies. And the recipe that I found on Google said I need eight apples per pie. And so that's 16 apples. And I still have half a bag of apples so i will probably just wash these and put them in the fridge and eat these as like you know a snack but we are going to make an apple pie out of these 16 apples don't mind my hair i decided to try these rollers that i got from cbs um, and use my new dyson so i will show you guys how this comes out but I had just washed my wig and it wasn't styled and I was not about to come on camera with my make meals on and I was not gonna come on camera with the wig not you know styled so I figured rollers were better <laughs> Um, so the apples have already been peeled, so what we're going to do is chop them up. We're going to need brown sugar. This is the brand that I'm using. We are also going to use regular sugar. This is the brand that I'm using. I have some in a container. I'm going to use that, but I wanted to show you guys the um, brand. We are going to need some butter. This is organic sweet cream butter and it's unsalted. This is the brand. Then we are also going to need cinnamon and nutmeg. Um, yeah, so from the recipe online, it was pretty simple. I will leave it on the side right here. But basically, it just said to cut up the apples. I am using a store-bought crust. I will show you guys. This is the brand. Close this fridge. This is the brand for the pie crust. It's Pillsbury pie crust. It looks like this. I got this from Star Market. So the recipe says to cut up the apples, um, take a little pot, put some regular sugar, some brown sugar, some butter, some flour, um, and kind of cook that into a nice little paste. 
Um, if you want your apples really soft, it's best to boil them. So I've decided that I'm going to cut the apples up. I'm gonna boil them so that they become really soft. Um, in another pan, I'm going to do the uh, brown sugar, the flour, butter, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Um, kind of cook that. Then I'm gonna take the apples, I'm gonna pour that into that little uh, puree that I'm gonna make with the brown sugar and the regular sugar. Cook that a little bit and then I'm going to put it in the pie crust and then put it in the oven. So yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get into cooking. I'm going to do a little speed up process. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Hey, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who no those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. In the dirt that they do on my name, turn to soil, and I grew about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, and I'm still here outside. Busy body, baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it Yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability And now she walking with her head high and her back straight I don't think you're feeling me, I'm out of hey it It is a little later, the... Pies are done. They look so good, but they're too hot to eat at the moment. I need to let them cool. So in the meantime, I'm going to go out and I'm going to eat the pies as a reward for myself when I get back home later on. Um, so if I do come back on a little tipsy <laughs> trying the pie, don't mind me. Um, but yeah, this is how the hair ended up coming out with the um, roller sets that I used. Um, see, I'm not a professional, so it's not perfect, but it's still cute, you know? I don't know, I liked it. I especially liked like this part right here that like flips. Yeah, anyway, so this is my outfit. I'm going a little sexy tonight because the place that I'm going to is actually really close to my house but they are a restaurant but they play really good music and it's like very like Miami vibes in there um, so I decided to go a little bit more sexy so this skirt honestly I can't remember I think this skirt is from White Fox Boutique um, I have my Hermes I don't know if you guys can see but I have my Hermes uh, boots on. This tee is from Zara. It's like a casual place, so I want it to look like cute but casual. And then I threw over this cardigan. Um, and I got this cardigan from Saks. I don't know the exact brand. And then I'm taking my classic Chanel in the small black caviar leather silver hardware I have my 
Bulgari watch on. I have these silver hoops. I have like this brown lipstick on. Um, but yeah, this is our Saturday night look. Literally did nothing today other than watch movies, then made the pie, and then now we're going out. So this is how we are starting this week's vlog. Let's have some fun. Are you guys so? It is the next day. Today is Sunday. I'm about to go to my mom's house um, for a little bit, but I also have a day party that I'm supposed to be going to. So I was just trying to find an outfit that I was going to wear to go to the day party. I'm going to be at my mom's for probably like two hours. Um, and I just want to go straight from there to the day party. Don't mind my hair. It looks silly. Um, but yeah, so I think I ended up deciding on the shorts, this top from Zara. The shorts are from Saks. You guys remember the shirt from uh, New York Fashion Week. I'm gonna take my black Chanel because this is a bag that I'm gonna take to my mom's. Um, yeah, and then I'm wearing my Stuart Weinsman that I showed you guys. Um, I don't know if it was in the beginning of this vlog or last week's vlog, um, but they're just these white Stuart Weitzman. And yeah, so I'm going to change out of this. I'm probably going to throw just like a basic black dress on to go to my mom's and then I'll bring this along. I'll curl my hair and I will do like a basic makeup to go to my mom's and that's probably just what I'm going to keep to go to the day party. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit for the day party. Um, let's change. Apparently it's cold outside, so I will probably take like a blazer. Um, yeah, the uh, place that we went to last night for dinner, was so good. The food was so good. Um, I got Philly cheese steak rolls, um, and I got their. Uh, I think it was like orange chicken, not chicken. Sorry, orange shrimp, and it was so good. And they play good music. Um, yeah. So it was nice. Got home. Tried the pie. I honestly did not get my reaction on camera. I will eventually show you guys, but I did try a bit of the pie last night before going to bed. That's what I'm gonna wear to my mom's. Let me change. OMG, guys. No one told me all I needed was a Dyson. Are you kidding? Let me go. I don't think I'm gonna do my makeup. I think I'm gonna do my makeup on my mom's when I am about to leave for the day party. But it's the next day. Today is Monday. It is Columbus Day or Indigenous People's Day. But let me show you guys my outfit. I'm gonna do it this way because of the window. Yeah, so this is my outfit. I am wearing my Hermes boot. This skirt. I'm pretty sure it's from Maritza. The sweater is Tommy Hilfiger. I have my hair down. I have these um, silver hoops. I have my Bulgari watch on. I am taking my Birkin 30 Togo leather, this blue color, because I'm basically just doing all blues. Um, but yeah, this is the fit. 
Tommy Hilfiger, Urbizia, Hermes, Hermes, Bulgari. Don't know where these silver hoops are from. But yeah, so let's go to brunch. Oh, that Asian lady? Yeah, yeah. Like, the more she was talking, the more I was like, Shut What are you up. talking about, right? Like, I forget, I can't remember one thing she said, and I was like, just like It made me question. I mean, I just think it's very weird to like go to the same. Cheers, feet. And then I took a picture of Happy Indigenous People Day. Woo. Say hi, bitches. Say hello. Take a shot. Say hello. <laughs> You're on the vlog right now. Oh, this would be a cute little. Yeah. Say hello, guys. Uh, there we go. That, the hearts and the hearts. Okay. Cheers. October 12th. It is two o'clock in the afternoon and it is a Thursday, which means the housekeepers are coming. <laughs> so I have been working from my bed this morning. I was doing some editing for the next vlog. Um, and then I also had to, by the way, I'm putting toner on my face. I also had to post some testimonials from the girlies that have had a phone call with me, that have booked one-on-one -on -one calls with me. Um, I asked a couple of them to send me some testimonials. Um, and so I decided to share those on the website. Now, I know someone's gonna be like, well, you know, cause I give them the option to be anonymous. I don't want people to kind of put themselves out there like that. This is the toner that I am using. I showed you guys that before. Um, and then I'm gonna do an exfoliant. Um, or exfoliate. Um, so I don't want them to like put themselves out there like that. So I told them they could send it to me, you know, and say they're anonymous or whatever. Um, and I know someone's gonna be like, well, then how do we know it's legit? Well, the reason why I decided to do it that way was because originally I was like, I'm gonna do like a review part on my site where people can, you know, say what they think about like, the tier that they're in or um you know what they think about like the one-on-one -on -one calls they've done with me stuff like that but i'm like <clears throat> i have to many haters <laughs> um to trust that everyone that's going to go on there and actually write me a review is honestly someone who paid for my um you know tears or paid for a one-on-one -on -one call with me um, or any of that stuff. So I decided that I am not going to do it that way and I'm going to have people just text it to me um, through the number that I use to have the calls with them. Um, and yeah. So instead of sending me an email when you watch this video, and think you could just ask me any questions that you want via email because some of you guys do that just book a call with me okay i need to hurry up because it is 2 15 and they said they were gonna be here at 2 30. last week she was actually 30 minutes early which is rare because she's usually late um 
So in the meantime, I've decided that I am going to, I don't know if I'm going to walk because it's, it, it's nice outside. It's like 69 degrees out, which is not cold, but it's also not warm. And so I don't know how long I'll be walking for before I'm like, mm, I'm cold because I could totally walk to Newberry Street. I also want to go to Saks. And they wanted to meet up for lunch. So we have some stuff to do today. I did get a little bit of work done, so I'm happy about that. And in this video that I was editing today, I actually had a paid sponsor. Um, so that is exciting. That is awesome. My little cousin got her cell phone. So I sent my little cousin in Cameroon an iPhone um, because she asked for one and I told her that if she did good in school, I would send her one and so she called me like two weeks ago and she was like I remember like I remember you told me you were gonna get me a phone and I did good in school da, 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 da. and so I was gonna buy her a new phone and then I realized like oh I have an old I think it was an iPhone 10 11 but like the plus like the big one um yeah so I sent her that one um, and I got it fixed and I sent it with a phone case and my aunt just said she received it so yay. That makes me happy. I sent a photo. I took a photo of me and Chanel in the phone. Um, <laughs> so that she can see it. But yeah, so I'm gonna finish doing this. I need to be out of here before the housekeepers get here because at least I can like go and do my hair and get dressed in my closet room while they clean up this area. Um, yeah. And what do I want to use for moisturizer? I might. Sephora because I am running out of my moisturizer. I swear to God, I am never changing my skincare products that I use now because they really have been doing your girl. Justice! I mean, like, are we kidding? I'm still going to do my chemical peel this fall into the winter time. I'm going to do it right before my birthday, I think. Um, which means I need to honestly start looking for the um, esthetician or the place that I'm going to go to. Um, yeah. Ooh, yeah. So, but I'm not changing anything because all the products that I have been using have really contributed to my skin tremendously. Like, I encourage you guys to go down to some of my first videos. Granted, I was a much younger woman at the time. I was like 23. <laughs> um, but my skin was not it. Like, it's not perfect now, but it is a hundred percent better like I forgot to use my vitamin C so I'm gonna 
put it over my sunscreen and just kind of mix it in together. This is it. This is the uh, face. I don't know if I'm going to put makeup on when I go for my little walk. I am going to go to Van Cleef, so maybe I should. And I have a Saks Fifth gift card for like $800. And actually, no, I have $850 to use at Van Cleef because, not Van Cleef, fuck, at Saks because last time I was at um, Saks, I spent some money and I got a $50 gift card when I bought those candles. And I really do need to go to Saks because I need some more candles. I have ran out of my um, Lilavo candles and my, um, uh, what is it? Deep teak candles. So we are going to the mall after all. <laughs> I always love a reason to go to the mall. So let's go get dressed. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, this is what I'm sitting on. I got this uh, stool. Um, I actually got it from Amazon. I will link it in my Amazon storefront. And it's just a cute black stool made out of wood. I have it in my bathroom because I will sit here and do my facial and like soak in the tub. Sometimes they will sit here and watch me soak in the tub. <laughs> Um, when he's here and stuff. So I got one for in here and it fits perfectly in the corner by the window next to the tub. So it's out of the way when I'm not using it. And then I got one for my makeup bathroom and hair bathroom. Um, so we're going to go over there actually while the housekeepers come and uh, Cleaner. Still eating the apples from my apple picking. So good. I got my water. I try to drink two of these a day. This is my first one for today. But yesterday, I had like four, so, you know. Um, but anyways, I got some stuff done to get ready for the housekeepers. So everything that I needed to do has been done. Um, I had cleaned up this room yesterday, so I really did not have to do anything. That is why like today I wasn't rushing to get out of bed and I was like, I'm just gonna sit here and do my work. Um, but now that everything is done, it is time for me to get dressed. Um, so, I don't know, because we are going shopping, <laughs> and I want to look cute, so, let me see, and it is pretty nice outside, but it's not hot, so like, you know, it's just nice, so I don't know what I want to wear, but I'm gonna go with jeans, most likely, and then, we'll see, or maybe a dress and boots. Because I can never go wrong with my Hermes boots. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. Let me get dressed. And I will show you guys my outfit. And I think I'm going to put some curls in my hair to give it a little bit more bounce. I really want to style this sweater. Um, I mean, like... I don't know if I really, really, it was like a body, I would wear this as a dress, maybe put like a really short skirt underneath or something. Um, maybe some shorts, but it is just not it, you know, like now. If I like raise my hands right now, you guys will see everything and we don't need that. But like, I want it to be flattering. So like, I'm thinking I'm going to use this white Hermes Kelly belt and like, you know, try it out and see like this, 
What do you think? I kind of like it. I feel like it is a little bit more flattering this way. And like I can wear some jeans or something. I don't know. But I feel like with the belt and then the arms up, I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair yet, but I feel like it's a lot more flattering. And it has like this t-shirt thing. But anyways, let's style art. Like the housekeepers are still not here, which is perfect because I usually don't want to be here when they're here anyways. So let me quickly hurry up and get dressed and hopefully I can be out of here within 10 minutes. All right, you guys, so I am finally dressed. It took some time, okay? But the housekeepers are here. I'm dressed. We are finally heading out. So I decided to go with the sweater. Uh, it's from Veronica Beard. I told you guys I was going to find out the brand. So it's Veronica Beard. The dress pants are TWP. I got them from Saks. I am wearing my black Van Cleef earrings because like I told you guys, taking the white one to the store today. Um, Lady Dior bag and regular everyday jewelry and that is I'm not gonna try on any tops because I have makeup on my face and I absolutely hate trying on shirts when I have makeup on my face because even if I don't like it I have to give the shirt back with makeup on and if I do like it I have to buy the shirt with makeup on it so I do not shop for tops when I have makeup on my face but I'm about to try on all of these um, items, the tops, like this white top, I'm not going to even bother trying on. I know that it is no longer short season, but this is like the perfect time to buy them because they are on sale in Saks. Um, so yeah, and I am going to California next week, like I said. So I'm going to try on all these shorts and then I also have some jeans. I cannot wait to see what that looks like on. Um, but yeah, so you guys will not believe this. All of this fit, everything perfect. That was the only thing that I did not like how it looked on me. But like these, so flattering on the body. So we are taking all of this. Let's go check out. appetizers at our new favorite place raffles um, well the raffle hotel so this is the hotel in my last vlog actually the vlog I was editing today that we went and tried out we love this place so we came here for drinks and then we're going back to our other favorite place that we actually also just tried in my last vlog which is uni so we're gonna go have dinner there because since this place is fairly new, um, it's super booked up for months. So they are booked up until October. Um, so we could not sit at the dining table. We just sat at the bar. So we got some drinks, got some oysters, and then we are about to go get dinner somewhere else. But we did get a reservation for October 20 something dinner so we are going to try like the full course dinner restaurant on October 26th so I'm super excited about that but today we just got drinks and then we're about to go have dinner 
at Uni because they have more availability. If you hear the noise in the background, it's because we are back down in the lobby. We still have our shopping bags, so we're just tagging them along with us. So. I am back home and I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I got. Got this new Le Labo perfume. Um, it's called Lavande 31. It smelled good. I tried it and I liked it and so I got it and this is the bottle and it honestly smelled so good could not leave it behind and this is now my second uh, Le Labo perfume three candles <laughs> of the same scent which is the Santal 26 but this is what it looks like Santal 26 this smells so good so I got it three one for my bathroom a master bathroom and one for the living room and one for the kitchen. Then I went to Saks and I got a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, well, the Lilapo store was in Saks as well, but I did a lot of clothes shopping, mainly bottoms. So I got this cute sweater skirt. I'm pretty sure it's not my size. I'm going to try to get it tailored tomorrow. This is a medium. I'm going to need it to be a small. But this is from the brand Theory. So I got that. I also got another skirt, which I'm pretty sure is from the brand Theory. Um, and it just looks like this. I'm pretty sure this one's my size. So this is a 00. zero. Yeah, but I was just getting these because I'm like, this is like wool. And then this is like this, like a sweater wool as well. But um, yeah, I'm getting these for like the winter time and fall time to like, you know, look cute, fashionable, and yet, you know, warm. I got these pants. These are from, what brand is this? Um, it says Japanese fabric. Is that, is that a brand name? I have no idea, but it, it, it says Japanese fabric here. Um, let me see. Okay, so it's either, I think the brand name is R13, which is what it says on here, R13, but they're just these pans and it's like they're kind of painted. I don't know, they're just really cute. And when I tried them on, I absolutely loved <laughs> And then I got a bunch of shorts. Um, I'm not really going to get into the shorts, but I did get this cute sweater from a frame. And this is what it looks like. Um, and then I just got this basic black turtleneck. You can never go wrong. Um, from also the brand a Frame. Um, I got some new jeans, these, really cute, um, you can never have enough jeans, honestly. This is from Hudson, um, yeah, in the size 25, um, high rise, wide leg, 
pants. Um, let's see. Oh, I also got this really cute top from Vince. And this is what it looks like. Just getting myself ready for winter. Then I got shorts because they were on sale. And the best time to shop for shorts is in the winter time because that's when they are on a sale and I love these. That's all I got from Saks. <laughs> um, I will put that stuff away tomorrow. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom and I just took my makeup off using this and I am about to wash my face <laughs> and call it a night. It's been sort of a productive day. I got all my candles and yeah, so I'm about to go to bed. Don't mind the little lace poking out right here. But I'm about to go to bed. I got my little pumpkin spice robe on. Um, I got this from Target, if anyone cares. This is like the perfect robe for fall. Um, but yeah, guys. Calling it a night. I am babysitting tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, I'm babysitting tomorrow. Um, yeah, so looking forward to that. That's it. Let me wash my face, get this wig off my head, put my um, retinol products. I use all retinol products at night. Let me show you guys. I'm not gonna show you guys the process of me using all of these products tonight, but these are the products that I use at night. All my products have retinol in them. So this lineage retinol firming cream treatment I use sometimes. Um, this is my moisturizer, which is this Saint Jane. Um, sacred sleep overnight repair um, it also has retinol in it this is what the top of it looks like then I also use this um, biosense uh, retinol night serum and then I have this Sunday Riley retinol oil that I use. So literally all of my products I might have retinol in them and I think that has truly been the major change in my like you know face and like getting like acne, hormonal acne and stuff like that. I use vitamin C products during the day and I use my retinols at night. And obviously sunscreen and all of those necessity, moisturizers and stuff, you know, during the day. But yeah, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Time to cut me up some pie. I took the second one to my mom's on Sunday, this last past Sunday, um, devoured. <laughs> Everybody loved it. I don't know if I told you guys that. Um, there was just a little bit left and then my sister ended up taking it home. Um, and I finally actually bit into mine um, yesterday. 
So I still have a lot of pie to eat, but it's fine. And I still have quite a lot of apples too. We are possibly going to make another pie. Because <laughs> at this point it's like, I really don't like eating just straight apples. So, I feel like I'm definitely going to make another pie. Or I was thinking of bringing the apples to my mom um, because last Sunday I just brought the pie. I didn't bring her any apples. So this Sunday, I might just bring her some of these apples um, because it's quite a lot. But I'm heating up my apple pie since it's been in the fridge for a couple of days. Heating it up for like 45 seconds. Like you don't want it to be like super hot because that's gonna ruin the pie. The ice cream that I am using. This much. And there we go. Here's my apple pie. <sighs> I'm realizing that I literally have not actually tasted this on camera for you guys. So here we go. Anyways, I'm going to go eat my pie. Today was a productive day. The housekeepers did a good job, per usual. Um, yeah, about to go eat my pie, watch a movie, call it a night, and I will see you guys tomorrow when I am babysitting. Guys, it is Friday, October the 13th. It is around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, actually one o'clock uh -huh. same thing right i am babysitting i told you guys that yesterday that i was going to be babysitting today um he took his first nap at 10 he got here around uh, 9:30, and it was time for him to take his first nap at 10 o'clock in the morning once he did i got dressed i showered everything to get ready before he woke up you guys can hear him in the background um he's now up so i'm supposed to feed him lunch right now and then do some sort of outside activity i have to look at the schedule my sister gave me um it is cold outside today would have been a perfect day to go for a walk um if it was nice outside with the baby you know, so the baby, the dog, we just go for our little walk, my hot girl walk, except MILF edition. Um, or I guess, how would you say, Aunt Tilf edition? Auntie, I would like to F <laughs> edition. Anyways, um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for my outdoor activity with him because it is cold outside and I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be outside in the cold and I don't want to be outside in the cold so what are we what are we gonna do but we'll see anyways just wanted to come and tell you guys what was going on just have this a uh, blue top from Zara these pants these dress pants that I had on yesterday I just threw them back on because they are very comfortable. Yeah. 
you hear him? <laughs> He's so cute. I wish I could show you guys my uh, nephew, but nah. He's too cute. Um, maybe one day. Uh, but yeah, so that is today's plan. We are just babysitting. I am at brunch with Bianca, Bay, and Bianca's co-worker. That's Bianca's hand. Um, I went to support her because she was walking for uh, uh, Alzheimer's. And she raised some money. Um, yeah, and now we're having brunch. Put the link in your, in your description. <laughs> I will, if you guys want to support Alzheimer's. You can't really go wrong. Yes. I'm not drinking a lot. I'm not drinking. <laughs> Do you need any of this package as a gift? No. I keep her uh, on it. I don't know why, but I keep forgetting to grab my camera today. So, oops. I'm vlogging on my phone, but we are on the way to Evan Cleef. I am taking my earring that match this to possibly get fixed um as you guys know i have the black ones i also have the uh, mother of pearl like the necklace that i'm wearing um and i had dropped one of them in the uh little uh i <laughs> iron but the little part that goes into your ear like the hole in your ear um fell off so we're taking it to Van Cleef um, to see what we can do. They have different options, so we're gonna see. And then maybe I'll get something. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. guys it is a later on in the day i have my new van cleef on to match my earrings i have the 20 motif necklace to match my earrings and my um mother of pearl earrings the white ones that match my 10 motif mother of pearl necklace is going to be fixed um it's gonna take two weeks which is great i thought it was like longer than that but she said two weeks so perfect i'm not even gonna notice because i already have this and i have that um yeah so i'm literally wearing the same top but i have leggings on and my hermes boots we are about to go to a uh tall ship so basically it's like a ship on the water and we're gonna go have drinks there and maybe get something to eat all of that stuff i am taking an hermes blanket with me because it is chilly we are gonna be sitting outside i'm pretty sure they have like heaters and stuff um but i'm bringing my blanket just in case it's super cold um but yeah so let's go i'm finally filming on my camera <laughs> today because earlier I was swimming off of my phone so I'm gonna remember to bring my camera with me When I share it, let's talk about Frankie. I love when he's banging, you know what I'm on. Cheers for Gerald, I'm at.